Good morning and welcome to another short devotional for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. This morning we're focusing on Psalm 23 and verse 4. Keep your eyes on the light. You know, a common source of stress in our lives is loss. You can lose your job, your health, your money, your reputation. You can lose a loved one. And when you add all the other challenges in life that you have, it just amplifies the stress. There are two common reactions to loss. One is fear. The other is grief. Grief is good. Grief is the way we get through the, the transitions of life. In fact, if you don't grieve, you get stuck. Grief will not wreck you if you let it out. Fear, on the other hand, can be a bad thing, a difficult thing in life. Not once in the Bible does it say, grieve not, or sorrow not, or weep not, or cry not. It does say, fear not. And it says it 365 times. Grief doesn't paralyze us but fear does. Psalm 23, verse 4, David writes, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. David knew shepherds always carried a rod and a staff to protect their sheep. And he knew that God had the power to protect him. So David trusts God even in the darkest valleys. You know, if you're going through a dark valley and you're under a lot of stress, you can choose to trust God. He is faithful even in the shadows where things may not make sense and where it can seem like a long, long way out of the valley. But here's the good news to remember about big, scary shadows. You can't have a shadow without light. If you see a shadow, it means there's a light shining nearby. When you're going through the valley of the shadow, the key is to turn your back to the shadow and look to the light. Because as long as you keep your eyes on the light, Jesus, the light of the world, the shadow is not scary. Just like David, trust God in the dark valleys and pray, when I'm overwhelmed, you alone know the way I should turn, O Lord. Psalm 142, verse 3. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Let's continue to exchange prayers daily.